Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to go over two prompts that I've been using to help write, help write better scripts using ChatGPT. These are incredibly simple and easy to use and I'm just going to show you uh, how I use them, some tips and tricks to use them better and get better outputs. So the first prompt is going to simply be tell me about and then blank, enter whatever uh, the video is going to be about or the, you know, the script, whatever the script is going to be about. Uh, this generally creates a higher quality and more realistic type of story or script instead of just if you ask it to, you know, write a YouTube video script about if you do that, then what typically happens pretty much every time is you're going to get a very stereotypical uh, type of script that has a lot of jargon and lingo and it's going to be like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel yada 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 and then it's you know it's okay but it it takes it too far with the stereotypical type of script jargon and lingo in my opinion so i think you get a much more natural uh clear concise engaging response if you just say tell me about x y and z so in this video i'm going to uh actually be giving you a live example and we're going to be basically creating a script together so once you've typed in, tell me about, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put in essentially your video topic or whatever you want the video to be about. So for this, a tip would be to be very specific, but not overly specific, because if you're too specific, then ChatGPT is not gonna have uh, enough relevant information. For instance, don't ask ChatGPT to tell you what a recent world, about a recent world event, excuse me, because um, if you ask it about a recent world event, it likely won't have the updated information to create good content on that specific topic because typically ChatGPT is not going to actually know, you know, live news and things like that. So that's one just example of where you don't want to get too specific using this specific prompt and technique. For this example in this video, we're actually going to be asking it to tell us the history. Tell, tell me about the history of turtles, okay? This is going to be just just a random example i like turtles so that's just what we're going with all right um so once you have this this brings us to our second part of the prompt which is incredibly uh useful so if you just send this into chat gpt which i'll just go ahead and do just to show you guys i'll try to do everything live right here so you can actually see so if you just give it a very simple tell me about and then in this case the history of turtles it's going to actually give you you know a decent little history here you know, it's going to give you just just whatever information it deems is necessary to give you a good output. Um, but of course, this isn't going to be specific to maybe our video idea or I, or our imagination of what we would like the video to be or the script to be in this case. So I'm just going to let it generate this here and then we'll get into the second prompt where we can actually uh, pretty easily make this a lot higher quality and more aligned with what we want it to produce. So as you can tell, it apparently, you know, knows more about turtles than I do. So this is this is good. This is cool little content. It was quick, easy to make. But if we want to go back up to this prompt and we want to modify this, the second prompt you're going to want to do, uh, you know, all together along with this is going to be tell me about the history of turtles, but then you're going to put a comma or however you want to write it, doesn't really matter. And you're going to say using this information. So now you have two options. You could either copy and paste or even type in your own information uh, sort of information base that it's going to try to pull from and use or you can do what I'm going to show you how to do right now which is you can actually open a Wikipedia page so in this case I just went to the turtle Wikipedia page um, and you can either copy and paste all of this or portions of it whatever you want the video to be about like let's say maybe the video is just about turtle naming and I just want to use you know, some of this information, then I could do that. Um, but what I found you can do is actually go up on Wikipedia to the tools section on the top right, click download as PDF, and then it will prompt you. Uh, I'll go ahead and click it here so you can see. You can, you can just download this as a PDF, which is really great. I didn't even know you could do that until earlier today. Uh, but anyways, so if, if once you download the PDF of the Wikipedia page in this example, because that's the information we're going to be using so that ChatGPT has something to go off of to actually get into some more of the details and in more depth uh, in our script. So I've opened up a new chat window just so we can do this from, from scratch. Uh, so I'm going to say again, tell me about the his, history of turtles using the attached information. And you could say using the attached information as a reference or whatever more detail you want to go into. But uh, again, I'm just going to show you some simple prompts that can get you going in the right direction. And then you can maybe build off of on your own for whatever exact use case you want. So make sure once you add this, um, in this case, we're going to be actually adding 
um, the PDF, which this is what it looks like. I'll give you a quick scroll through. This is just the downloaded Wikipedia PDF. So you can do this with any Wikipedia page, uh, which is really great because there's a lot, obviously a lot of topics you can dig into on Wikipedia and get information from. And this is just 36 pages of uh, great turtle information. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and attach that. You can drag and drop it uh, this way like I did, or you can click this uh, little clip or whatever icon right here uh, and attach it that way as well. So now we have tell me about the history of turtles using the attached information and we have attached our information. Make sure you don't forget that. And now we're going to send message. So now we're going to get a little bit, you know, maybe more detailed response. So by providing your own specific information to chat GPT, you can actually increase the accuracy of the script closer to what you want it to be about. This can be as simple as copying over the Wikipedia page like we've done, or you can take the time to organize larger amounts of specific information for chat GPT to use. Now, if we take a look at this that it's actually generating right now, it's not really an ideal script format, right? So this is where the sort of bonus tip, or you call it a third prompt if you want, is gonna come in. So a lot of times, especially if you're drawing from information like a Wikipedia page, ChatGPT likes to organize it in more of a bullet point format, which is really good if you're actually just wanting to, you know, quickly read through and get some information on stuff and some key points. But for our purpose of actually making a script, this isn't what we want. To fix this, all we have to do is simply edit our original prompt. And in addition to what we already have, we just need to simply add, do not use bullet points. And once we save this, it should give us essentially just a few paragraphs instead of using, you know, all these different bullet points and, and, and titles and things like that. Uh, we'll see what it gives us here, but this should uh, ideally give us a much better output. And as you can tell, it looks like it already is. Now, as you can tell, it's a little bit short uh, of a script in a way, but we do have a lot better information that we can actually use now. And by using this little bonus tip of do not use bullet points, uh, adding that into the prompt, it will help eliminate ChatGPT's use of the bulleted points, which can make the output less organized, but it will also give you uh, some true text for a voiceover script instead of obviously bulleted points. This is particularly useful if you're going to be copy and pasting this script over into an AI voiceover tool because this will keep the voiceover steady and not interjecting the random bullet points because if you're going to be using a voiceover AI tool, you do not want it to be just saying the random title names and then going one by one by each line because that's not really a script. That's just reading off an outline. Now, this is our script and it looks decent. It's obviously very short. Now, I have found that with ChatGPT, it tends to give you a shorter response, even if like we did here, we gave it a lot of information. Now, a way to sort of get around this or improve upon this is one of two ways. One way is a little more involving. The other way is a little simpler, which is the one I'm going to show you here, but I'll tell you about both. Um, so the first way, which is going to be a little easier and I'll go ahead and do myself is just give it an outline to go off of. So again, we're just going to add this onto our prompt. So we, we have uh, the information about the turtle PDF, the Wikipedia page, and then we have tell me about the history of turtles using the attached information. Do not use bullet points. Now we're gonna add another thing to it. We're gonna say, follow this outline. So I'm gonna paste this in, but this is essentially uh, just an outline that I actually just used ChatGPT uh, in collaboration with that Wikipedia page earlier to create. But it basically just gives a bit more of an outline and structure for the script, which is gonna help it create a longer script because otherwise it's just, it's just trying to guess at what you want. Uh, if you don't give it much information uh, like this is, you know, it doesn't really know exactly what we want so the more specific uh you can get with your outline with your uh, details that you wanted to cover and things like that and topics and sections of the video uh, the longer the output is going to be and the more precise it's going to be to your vision of the video so uh, this is the simpler way to do it is just having a more simple shorter outline here we just have a lot of different topics and then it just tells you know what that section of the video is about basically but if you wanted to do this on your own or with the help of ChatGPT and create a really detailed video script outline and give it that, it can definitely uh, help produce even longer uh, scripts that are also very detailed. So let's go ahead and give it this outline along with the same exact prompt we just used before and see what it actually comes up with. Here we go, it's writing the script. Let's see how it actually turns out if it's any longer. I should have checked the word count of the previous one. I think I might still be able to look at it. I'm not sure though, actually probably not. Um, but I was going to compare the word counts, but we'll be able to roughly tell uh, how much longer it is. I can already tell it's still writing, and this is already seemingly much longer than the other one. I will see how long it goes. It's actually, it's on the cultural significance, so it should be pretty close to finished. 
So yeah, here's the the next one using our outline. Uh, this is gonna be our you know final product for this video, but looks like it made a pretty good you know brief script, but much longer than the last, and it's also more detailed and covers all of the points that we had in our outline uh, in pretty good detail with accurate information using the Wikipedia page uh, as a reference that we added. So this has been a video about two prompts and some bonus tips and tricks to help you write better scripts using ChatGPT. Keep in mind, you can always add more to this or less, uh, whatever you wanna do, but keep in mind, the more you add, the more information you give it, the more outline, the more detail, it's gonna be able to write better, more personalized outputs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.